chess friends, the Hans Magnus drama ends up with a beautiful result that Hans didn't cheat against Carlsen in FDX 2022. Of course he cheated more than 100 games on chess.com on previous year. But he don't cheat anymore. But yesterday, a new drama happened with Hans Niemann, I will show you a clip at the end of video. And I have a question for you, when and with whom did you play chess first time? Do you remember your first move in chess? Give me your answer in comment, I will read and like it. Let's go, we have d4, knight f6, c4, e6, knight here, d5. Standard opening, opening up the bishop line, then castle. Preparing for c5. Knight c3, c5, c takes d5. Hans could play knight takes d5. Let me show the variation, knight takes d5. e4, knight takes knight. c takes d4, and we got this position, you can play bishop check, castle, knight here, normal position. But Hans played c takes d4, queen takes d4, e takes d5, e4, pawn takes pawn, queen takes queen. We have queen exchange early, guys, in this position, I want, pause the video and try to find the best move for Samuel, go. 1. 2. 3. 4. 9. 10, ok time up. If you find knight g5, then you are correct, you are becoming chess master by watching by chess courses, and if you want my daily courses, then like the channel and subscribe the video, ha 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 ha. White is threatening this, and further move is to bring out your bishops. And also he is threatening this. So we have bishop e6, a3 by white but better was to play knight takes pawn. Knight d7, bishop f4, not bad but best move was knight takes bishop, doubling up the pawns. So rook c8, using the file and supporting that square for the bishop. g3, he wants to play bishop here to seizing that diagonal, if white successfully open up the diagonal, black will face light square weaknesses, where white have open d file. So we have bishop d3, seizing that square, bishop g2, knight h5, threatening to double up the f pawns. So, bishop e3, f5, g4, you shouldn't take it, because of this, so f4, targeting the bishop, g takes h5, f takes g2, rook g4, and after some moves later, we have bishop c5, best move is to play knight e2, keeping the bishop on this diagonal, threatening h6, if pawn takes, then bishop takes knight will be devastating for you. So in this position, Samuel played rook d1, but he hanged his rook. Hans says, ok let me take your rook, but you can't take the bishop, no matter king takes or knight takes, if king takes then bishop takes bishop, you will lose your bishop. If white says, wait I have this move, then king here, knight takes rook, rook takes knight, but he have three pieces, right, rook takes g7 check will not create big damage to black. And, I want you guys pause the video and find out the best move for Hans, go. 1. 2. 3. 4. 5. Ok time up. 96 check is correct move, comment me if you find this move. We have king e7, knight takes c5, bishop g4, but best move was bishop takes pawn, knight takes e4, rook takes g4, rook takes g7 check, bishop takes c6. It's rook and bishop versus two rooks, if you are a human then it's very hard to defend this position as white, but if you are a robot, alien or dinosaur, then it's easy to defend this position as white, because this bishop position is very well, open diagonal, past pawn, unemployed pawns, rook have 7th rank. So, we have rook e8 check, king f1, rook c1, rook g4. And after some moves later we have this position, king d5, get active the king as soon as possible, bishop g7. And after some moves later. Hans played rook g6, 
mistake, best move was rook takes a5, let me show the variation, if white takes the pawn, then take the f-pawn, threatening this pawn, if king g3, then rook f5, seizing that file, so the king can't go there anymore, and this pawn is frezzed, he can't move, black will face windmill of checks. Rook here to seize that pawn, pawn can't move, if the rook moves away, then rook takes pawn. Black has totally winning chances, but Hans misses it, rook takes h7, rook takes h6, f4. Exactly in this position, Samuel did a bad behave in front of Hans Niemann, let me show the clip. It is Samuel, he takes the Hans's king and he finds that the king piece is broke, what? What is happening here? Hans is running out of his time and Samuel throws his king on the board, pretending nothing happens here, hey you want to go outside. Why are you throws my king? Why? And finally, he puts the king in the right place, where it was. Okay, let me explain this, why Samuel did misbehave to Hans. When you are totally winning, and you are playing in an official club, some players like Samuel will disturb you like kick your leg under the branch, or shake the chess pieces, so that your mind gets distributed and plays wrong move. That's why this happened to Hans, lucky it's got recorded and I informed to you. So, what should you do then? Just pretend like you are not surprised or disturbed by your opponent's misbehave. So your opponent will stop it. Anyway, we have king takes b2. Rook g2, it's not f7, rook here, white will lose the game, rook h7, and promote your pawn, it's rook h5, because if takes then king g5, rook takes, king takes, king here, and both side will get a queen. But Samuel missed it, he played h3. Wish you all the best. Thanks for watching subscribe for more. Bye bye take care. See you in my next video.